Hey guys, so I just made a video on this hairstyle. I will say after I shot the video, I did let out like two little pieces of hair, but then I was like, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> so then I tucked it down behind my ear, I don't know. Um, just did a little bun. I fluffed it up a little bit so that it's huge. And I used my clip-ins. So if you guys wanna know how you can have a bun or a ponytail, with your clip and extensions that aren't showing like your eclipse aren't showing nobody knows then stay tuned and see how i do it keep watching that was so creepy keep watching <laughs> so to get started for this hairstyle you're gonna need a comb some hair ties a brush i prefer like a powder brush like so and your clip-ins. Now you're not going to need all your clip-ins, you're just going to need some of them. Um, I picked my, I think two, three clips. When I say three clips, I mean three clips on the band or on the weft, as you might want to say. A five, and I believe this is the second three. So, just depends on how big you want your bun or ponytail to be. This is super easy. I can show you how to do both. So we're going to brush them out. Make sure they're about to go. Then you also want to brush your own hair. Sorry about my phone. Alrighty. So, what I'm actually going to do is remove my part. That way the hair will kind of be ready to go up into the bun. So I believe this is about where I want it. So now that I want it kind of a high bun, maybe not right there, maybe a little further back. Kind of want to work with that section and like pull out the, like a majority of the hair around it. And grab it with the other hand, work the other side so that you have this like small bundle of hair here at the center of where you want your bun slash ponytail to be. Okay, so now it's all like in it. Okay, so now you're gonna take that tiny section of hair with your hair tie and you're just gonna put it up in a tiny little ponytail. Being careful not to get your other hair caught into the ponytail, which I've done many a times. Okay, so we've got our little bun here. And so now we're gonna take our clips and we're gonna clip it around our ponytail. So I'm going to start with, I think I'm gonna start with the five, no, this is a three. I guess we're gonna start with the three, because that's what I picked it first. No, we're gonna start with five. <laughs> I just can't make my mind. Okay, right, we're gonna start with five. I'm just gonna brush that again. I don't know why I feel the constant need to brush it. It just happens that way. And we're gonna open up all the clips so that they're already open and ready to go, like so. And then what you're gonna do, take the clip, start, I like to start from the far end towards the front, and then clip the clip in around the ponytail. And just make sure as you're going around, you're locking down your clips so that the hair isn't still trying to move as you're locking it down. And so, oops. This five clip weft will go around more than once, which is good. But we're fine, it doesn't really matter if it goes around more than once or not. And just kinda, it can get hard a little bit just cause if you can't, like I can't see where I'm clipping. So you just wanna make sure that those clips lock down. Now you've got your first little Start of your hair there and so how many clips you use depends on how thick you want your hair your bun or your ponytail like I said earlier there's many different ways to do this sorry I'm like sweating because my hair is on my face and I'm just gonna go in with a three and so a three should probably only go around once but it also depends on the type of clippings that you have if you have a large three clip weft then it might go around more than once if you have a small three clip weft then it might go on around less than once it just depends.
So now we have our ponytail. I think for what I'm going to do, that is enough hair for me. I'm doing my hair out of my face. And now we're just gonna brush our hair up around our clip ends. Okay, so now it's kind of all going in the correct direction. You wanna make sure that you're pulling your hair. I personally pull my own hair as taut as possible. And then make sure it's all covering your clips. And so because the ponytail is at the center of our head, you shouldn't have to worry about anything showing around like these outer edges. You didn't want to pull up too to pull yeah, pull up too much hair in that center ponytail because it'd make it harder to cover up. So let's see. Can't see any of my hair other than like those pieces, but don't worry about that. Especially don't worry about it because number one, like I wanna say eight out of ten people have layers in their hair. So your hair is not gonna be even in a ponytail. And number two, you can always curl it up or tease it a little bit so that kind of just blends in anyway. Okay, so this is the ponytail. If you guys just want to rock a ponytail, I was just kind of like twisting your hair around in the hair. I don't know why that always seems like it works a little bit better for me. Or going ahead and curling your ponytail to have a blend blend in your hair a little bit more. Um, if you don't want to actually have a curly ponytail, what I like to do, especially since my hair is um, way shorter than my clip-ins, is I will bump the ends of my hair so that it kind of like tucks inside of the clip-ins and it helps it like hide so it doesn't separate itself too much from the clip-ins. So that's what you could do, so you can see, just um, shake it out and my hair falls out of it. But since I am planning on doing a bun, I don't need to worry about that because you shouldn't be able to see it and it's going to be kind of a messy bun. So to get started on the bun, you're just going to start taking your hair, this is how I do my bun, and twisting it and then going around a little bit more and twisting it and giving it another twist. Alrighty, and we're going to place our next ponytail holder on it, like so, just two wraps, and then we're just going to kind of pull at it a little bit, to make it a little bit looser, little looser, a little bit looser and a little messier. Alrighty, just like so, hopefully that's center. I don't actually have a mirror, I'm like... Working up a distance and kind of familiar yeah, familiarity. I don't know if that's not even a word. Um, but yeah, that is the simple bun. Please don't look at the back of my beauty beauties back there. I know it looks a hot mess. Let me grab a mirror. I just have this nice little compact handy. Hey, for lack of mirror, I did a pretty good job. So if there's any pieces that are kind of like hanging out, you can always just bobby pin it. I probably won't. I kind of like a little bit messier for look or if you have if you want to even messier you can like pull little bits of hairs out um i don't know i don't think i will i think she's good so like i said super quick super easy way to get a cute little messy bun or to even have a cute ponytail if you guys want a more like in-depth ponytail kind of styling please let me know down in the comments below and i hope you guys like this video Oh, uh, before I go, let me tell you, I always forget to say what's on my lips just because I didn't mention it. So it is ColourPop Lip Pencil in Ellery. I figured that out. I don't know if you guys saw my other ColourPop video. Um, it's Ellery. And I, I don't know. Yeah. It wasn't an F. It was an E. And then the lip color by the Karuchi thing. Where is it? It's on the bottom. Wow. And Roach. This is so much darker than I thought it was gonna be, but it's gorgeous. Also, if you like this makeup look, like on my eyes and the lips and everything, definitely let me know down below as well, and I will try to make a video on it. It's actually super easy. All I had to do was blend. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos, and uh, yeah, okay, bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, subscribe, bye. Bye.